What's going on? Guys? Welcome back to the channel. So I have another update video on the 3100 pickup from AMT. I'm working on. Um, I had not done a video in like four weeks, so I was like, you know what? I better give you guys an update before you know <laughs> things go happen. So thing is coming together pretty good. Um, I'm sure some of you probably wonder what you know where's the update video. I, you know, so, um, I did give you comments saying that something happened to the truck and stuff, and now it's right here. It's perfectly fine. It's in paint. And it's just very slow progress. Um, I've been sick for the past like four days now, uh, but I'm getting a little bit better, and I'm well get it done more with before acne, obviously, and you know kind of pay for that before you know. <laughs> Recently, didn't get it during the acne, so that's a positive thing. But acne is coming around the corner. Acne is literally like two weeks from now, I think. Yeah, two weeks, not next week, but following week. That's <laughs> that's insane so i want to try to get this truck done before at me and um hopefully i can get it done if i can't oh well i got our bills i take down there obviously but i would like to try to take this down there but not a big deal if i can't but let's go ahead and show you what i'm doing and yeah so coming together super well um like i said i was going to do this truck box stock initially but Things kind of change. You might always see an engine bay. I, I had to. I, I I don't I don't care about that dude. Get get out of my channel. <laughs> I, I'm doing. I I was looking at pictures of this uh, paint scheme, similar paint scheme. Oh, actually, exact paint scheme. I saw this on on Google. Uh, the red and the black two tone paint job. I mean, it, this just looks so stunning. I just couldn't. I I couldn't help myself in this version of this truck. I saw. I downloaded a picture of the engine bay. Because the engine bay, the fenders are black, and the firewall is body color red, and um, you know, had had done that picture, and it had it had a small black V8 engine in there. I, I just could not help myself, so I'll show you that here in a sec. But um, yeah, I had to step in a V8 engine. I just, I just couldn't help myself. So, but I am going to display the straight six engine next to it. Uh, what I did to this straight six is like I weathered it, I beat it up basically, not beat it up, but I just weathered it, just weathered the heck out of it. And um, I want to make this obviously it's been restored because this is, this is obviously not factory cover. Factory covers back in the day, they were you know they were all you know one body cover. They weren't two tone back then. So this is obviously custom and or not custom, but you know restored and they just put in a different engine obviously. So they pulled out the stock engine. So this is what I did to the stock engine. I weathered the up, I rust it up, I put oil stains, I, I just beat the engine right up. I stained the transmission, everything's all rust. I got, you know, rust everywhere. I mean, you know, it's very cool. So I kind of want to look like they just found this truck in like a, um, you know, like a, like a, you know, in a wild, wild um, you know, in the uh, woods and stuff, and just been sitting there for years and years and years, just sitting there rotten. So the engine was no other, just rotten. And so they yanked the engine out, fixed the body, and they didn't even bother fixing the engine. They're like, you know what? We're going to step in a different engine. So I weathered the engine, and we're going to go ahead and because I, I did 3D print um, engine stand, I didn't weather it yet. I I did put the rust axe on there. I still got to rust it up, but I'm going to do it after the truck's done. I did 3D print um, engine prop proper. I, I do want to make this rusty, so I did put the the brown on here. I still got to do the actual pigment and stuff, make it look actual rust, but like the engine. But I'm gonna have this next to the truck, and I'm gonna get chain stuff, and I'm gonna have the engine just hanging from here. And I think this would be pretty cool. You know, like they yank the engine out, and it just is still on the prop rod, and you don't know what to do with it. And yeah, so. That's that's what I'm thinking. I'm not sure yet, but I think it'd be pretty cool. Uh, before we get to the body, let's go ahead and show you the interior. Interior is done. I did the interior body color or the dashboard at least, and the steering, the center of the steering wheel body color. So that looks pretty good. This, the dashboard's pretty simplified. You know, nothing too major. That's only two coats of 2K clear because I didn't want super super shiny. Obviously, well, it's, it's <laughs> it is shiny, but I didn't want like like super glossy like you know like um perfect perfect finish there's some orange peel in there like they are in back of the day well at least i think there is but um i did put in a different shifter this because this truck which has an animatic transmission it actually has the animatic so the shifter goes on the steering column 
but the engine I put in here, I put in um, a manual transmission. So I needed a manual shifter, so I just scratch built one and I went ahead and put on a, uh, a lucky dice for the tipper. And it looks pretty cool. And I actually really regret how that turned out. The white lucky dice. I could have done black or red or, you know, whatever that, but I think the white kind of stands out and just kind of stands out from the interior color. Then obviously the red and seat belts and then the door panels and the seat is uh, a light tan from Tamaya. I think it looks really good and obviously flocked it. I think that's just dark tan flocking. Obviously one on the floor, different color than the door panels and stuff, but yeah, very simple interior. You know, went together super nice and, you know, black back. I did gloss black because, you know, I was just bringing the storage, so I just paint it all black. That's just, a, that's just one coat, so I didn't do too crazy on the, on the bottom. But, yeah. And this kit, even though it comes with an um, automatic transmission and an automatic shifter, it has four pedals down there. And that one, that third, that fourth one's a dead pedal. But, yeah, it comes with four pedals, but, yeah, it comes with an automatic shifter <laughs> and it has an automatic transmission so i don't know why they included four pedals but it doesn't matter i'm kind of glad they did because it's good for me because i had to put in a, a manual transmission but that's a little weird to put in a they put in four pedals so obviously if you're going to use the stock engine and the, sh the stock transmission at least uh leave the four pedal out and just put the gas and brake pedal <laughs> i don't know why they had the clutch or the uh that clutch the um yeah, yeah, I forgot the name of it. <laughs> the clutch uh, pedal. But whatever. That uh, works out for me. So let's go ahead and move on to the body. Uh the bed. I just got done with the bed a few a few days ago. Got the wood wood texture in there. Uh this, like I said, this kit does not come with a decal. This is painted, so you are gonna have to paint the bed. But I went ahead and used the Flejo paints, uh like wood and uh fun stuff and painted the center in chrome. Um, same with the bottom. Bottom didn't do too much. I'm gonna, I, I'm, I, I'm gonna weather the bottom just a little bit more. Um, I don't want it too, too clean. But and obviously did my two tone paint job. Uh, the box of the bed is red, and then the fenders are just painted black. So didn't glue the fenders on and paint, paint the fenders separate, and then glue them on after paint. I don't really like do that for big parts. I don't, I, I don't really care for gluing you know, parts, body parts together after paint because it kind of, you know, kind of puts a risk, but I risked it and it went together super good and just glued the parts on the bottom of the, of the fender and it looks pretty good. Then we had the um, tailgate. The decal sheet does include decals for the Chevrolet. I'm up on the back, they're, they're different colors, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna do that yet because I'm I'm kind of digging, I'm kind of digging it, just kind of blend in with the body color, but we'll see. Um. Yeah, I'm 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 really digging it, just kind of blend in, but we'll see how I feel at the end. But I'm, right now, I'm digging it with the body color on it and stuff. Uh, we do get the steps kind of on there, steps to gloss black, seen with the body with the fenders. Um, so that and the bottom just that flat black. So, but yeah, it looks pretty good. So the colors are from Splash Paints. These are the colors right here. I was going to do a candy wine red, but I, I wasn't really feeling it. So I went ahead and used this red instead. This is actually a red for the Ford GT race car from like, um, from Ravel. And, you know, I had this left over. I was like, you know what, let me use this red. It looks pretty good. And then obviously the, just the jet black for the fenders. No metallic flakes into it. These colors don't have, don't have any metallic flakes into it. Just pure color. And then 2K clear with the Splash Paints 2K clear. So the body comes right off. It, this kit goes together super good. Um, it just body just cooks on the bot the body the bed cooks on those pegs on the back. So very good. There is the cab right there. I still got to put the headlights and fenders on or not fenders but the uh, grill and stuff. And then yeah, very cool. Love really loving how this turned out. Love the paint job and the two tone looks absolutely insane. There is the aftermarket engine. It is a small black Chevy, 3D printed. Uh, everything's all ch attached up, and it looks pretty good. I got a custom heater hose. I'm gonna put some heater hose in there and stuff, and then you know, fun stuff. I did mount the exhaust because there's only one exhaust side on the straight six, but I did have to make a custom exhaust to mount to the actual exhaust. So we got that going, and then we did get an aluminum exhaust tip. 
So chassis is nothing too special, but we do get we got the uh, the different engine. I just couldn't help myself. I wanted a V8, and I got a V8, and I'm I'm stepping the V8 in it. So it's a small block V8, so it's not much more horsepower. It's not too much more horsepower than this, but it gives it a little more hump to it, and it just looks a little, a little bit nicer. And you know, I do like the straight six engine, but I just couldn't help myself with the picture. I was with the bike with the paint scheme. I, I just couldn't help myself, <laughs> so I had to do it. So that looks really good. Um, I'm sure you're, some of you are probably wondering well, how is the how is the hood still fit? Because you know I had hood problems, but it's right here, the back, back. The hood fits perfect. Um, like I said, there's a little gap when I fixed it on this side. Um, like I said, the gap is gone. Like I said, my first my second with the video, I I wasn't worried about the gap because the paint is gonna fill up and the paint filled up perfectly, and the hood fits perfect. So very happy about that. But other than that, guys, that's pretty much about it. I wanted to give you an update before I patch it up and stuff. Um, I'm just going kind of slow progress on this. Take my time with it, and hopefully we'll get done for acne. So, and which is like two weeks from now. So I'm ready to get going. But other than that, guys, until my next video, I'll catch you guys next time. Take it easy.